Hi guys, Jake and Marissa back again for more love, love reactions to Power Rangers Super Ninja, Ninja Steel. Is that the right show this time? Yes. So, so, one funny thing I noticed with the DVR. Huh? Remember how it wouldn't record uh, Super Ninja Steel because it had a different title? Uh -huh. So I would go to the, to the list of episodes. It's all uh, the same list, isn't it? It's all on the same list. What? It makes no sense. I have to have my hand off screen for this or I'll have to put money in the swear jar. <laughs> if you're going I'm to flipping off the DVR. If you're going to consider them separate shows, why are they listed under the same show? I don't know. That's really weird. It's either how I don't even know how that works from a programming standpoint. That's just weird. Yeah. Not to mention the whole weird thing Spectrum does now where um, they no longer list all the episodes in order. Every now and again, they'll be Every now and then, one of them just doesn't have an episode number. So it winds up under other episodes down at the bottom, and you're like... Even even though it's clearly, like, the third episode. You know, I wind up looking stuff up on Wikipedia. Caught myself there. Yeah. Looking stuff up on Wikipedia to find out, based on the... Uh, to find out... Based Wait, what, on the air the date, yeah. <laughs> what I'm supposed to be watching. Spectrum's really bad. Because other episodes prominently display their air date. I, 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 the Gifted is so scrambled on there. Yeah, it's just completely... So right. scrambled. It's, it's, it's really funny how, like, one of the main things that everybody, like, always used to joke about was the only thing that... Um, the that worst possible thing you could do is every, have to call Time Warner. Every, everyone hated Time Warner, but Spectrum is so much worse. Didn't just at a, just at a. How did we find something? At worse? a functional level. Yeah, like Time Warner had really terrible customer service, but the but television it, came it, through. It okay. generally worked though. Yeah, it was either working or it was completely out. It just keeps not working. And when it was completely out, you'd call them up and they'd be like, "You have an area wide outage. It shall be up in seven hours." Uh, or they would be like, "I shall reboot your box," and then it works. After yeah. which I stopped calling them before rebooting my box. Uh, <laughs> so we 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 probably uh, ragged on Spectrum enough. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Yeah, because we're doing the early morning thing because because uh, you weren't feeling well last night. No, so. I wasn't. So, doing a little bit better this morning, so, 5 a.m. Power Rangers, because we're the cool kids. <laughs> so, time for episode three of Power, Power Rangers, Rangers Super, Super Ninja, Ninja Steel. Steel. Tough love. Really? Play. Long ago, Earth's greatest ninja sacrificed himself. Earth's greatest ninja. Why is Earth's greatest ninja like a white guy in Wisconsin? Oh, please, it's probably California. California, whatever. I mean, even if he was going to be like a white guy, shouldn't he be like, you know, in Japan? Wouldn't that be where you'd learn to be a great samurai? I'm, I'm, I'm just amused that, um, our Rangers super ninja steel. Um, in fact, if someone was actually a great living ninja, you'd expect everybody to know about them because it's pretty spell. much gone out of, uh, Listen carefully, spy of dead art. When a ranger sings this musical spell out loud, and okay. he must sing every word, they'll become evil. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Once they turn on their friends, I'll use them to get the power stars. That's genius. You've come to the right monster, Madam Odious. Are you going to get him to sing it? I don't know. I'm, I'm he looks like a cocktail umbrella, is what he looks like. That's what he does look like. Oh, short, short, uh, ninja. Go! Go! go. Power, Power Rangers, Rangers ninja, ninja Steel! Even with, with all, all our might, might together, Ninja Steel! Never give up without a fight together, Ninja Steel! Power Rangers, fear no danger! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers. Go. Stand up for what is right together, Ninja Steel. We got all day and night together, Ninja Steel. Rangers feel no danger. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, Ninja Steel. 
I wonder if they're gonna get all these other Zords I keep seeing. Go, Power Rangers, Ninja Steel. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, Ninja Steel. Particularly that red bird. I don't know, maybe Ooh, that'll be... nice kinetic sculpture. Interesting. Maybe it'll be, um, during, uh, around the mid-season finale, perhaps? I don't know. Season last sword, the season finale? The mid-season finale. Oh, mid-season. So right before summer, perhaps. What? That's a lot of change. It's pennies. Well, it's all pennies. My pal and I overheard your music and just wanted to you come doing? donate every last one of my hard-earned pennies. <laughs> um, thanks, I guess. What is it, like a buck fifty? <gasps> a girl who can sing and do math. You do well wow, with a man that was, who has almost 50 trophies. That was How very condescending. And I have almost so 50 you're trophies. Not really have my I? Type. <laughs> I am Victor Vincent. I can be any type. Oh, no. What type is he going to be? the disco type. Wow, they... They... They had to go get that, that outfit again. What is this one now? How about the bullfighting type? They're just... They're just running through all of his own costumes. How many of these does he have? There's a... Archery? Oh, tennis. Tennis. Thank you. <laughs> I will figure out what your type is. If it takes me a million years. Monty. Humble. Her type is humble, which she will never I, be. I really. I, I feel like she oh, just spoke on behalf oh, of so many people. Oh. Levi is her type. Yeah. Obviously. She sang one of my songs. Uh, it's one of his songs. Um, so all he has to do is join in, and she will be smitten. Oh, if oh, what's what's his He's idea? He's gonna sneak up behind her and start singing uh, with her, and get her some 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 extra donations. And they're gonna be like, oh, it's Levi Weston singing with the girl. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna Snapchat for this with the social. She's doing a duet with him now. Yeah. Okay, because that she's this gonna be all over the YouTube. Yeah. This is how you get discovered. This is how you get discovered. By by a famous person literally discovering you. He's clapping for her now too. That's cute. Levi Levi is a chill dude. I'm a huge fan. Your lyrics and now he's met you in real life. You smell great as well. Oh, that's that's cute. So she likes the smell of cowboys, eh? Oh, you're an idiot. Hey, that gives me an idea. Now they're gonna smell like cow poop. I don't think the song has ever sounded so good before. Did they have a return? That's really nice, Jess. Oh wow, that's stolen. So. so. Monsters, run! Oh no, monsters. And by monsters, we mean the low-level grunts. Well, mid-level Oh no, they're going to take all her tips! Is Pink wearing yoga pants? Probably. I'm afraid she can get away with that. Mm. Lots of high schools have an unreasonable restriction against yoga pants. Because they make your legs look too good, and boys might get distracted. Yeah. Not to be confused with leggings, on which there has always been an ongoing debate about whether or not they qualify as. Well. Yeah. Ninja Star, lock in. Ninja Star. Yeah. Cool. We've seen them before. Remember when they used it exponentially to bake a gazillion brodies? I think you might be thinking of Gemini, Kutama. I am! Like, I feel like I've seen that technique, but I don't remember it being an individual star. That's your box. Not today, you 
Shovels are really effective. Really something. Thank you. I grew up in a tough neighborhood. I guess so. Hey, um. Are you okay? How about we catch up later? His earrings. I'd different. I'd love to. On either side. Oh, okay. I can show you my new song. He's got a hoop on this side and a stud on this side. Okay. I gotta be somewhere, but I'll see you back here at four o'clock. Can't wait. Bye. You wouldn't think that would look good, but it actually does. Hmm. Oh, no! You yep. love me, Gold Ranger! <laughs> Cactus? I'm going to a cowboy cologne that just can't resist. <sighs> okay, first of all, just what? some hay from what? all yonder. What? <laughs> Okay, those have been a cowboy boots treated fresh from the round and preserved. You're also going to get terracotta and dirt because you didn't take the cactus out of the pot. Um, and that's not how you make cologne. Oh, they're holding hands already. That's cute, even though she's not. Just you're so much fun, man. It's great to meet someone like you. Oh, thanks. Oh, Lisa, hey, check this out. They, they, are, they are doing a, a better job than usual with the, uh... Believability of the con? Yeah. This, 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 um... I already have that. Oh, my gosh. You look amazing. You look so cute. Mm, I don't know. Cowboy hats are kind of my thing, you know? Oh, come on. You've been doing the whole cowboy thing for years. Change is the spice of life. Haven't you heard that? No. No. But it sounds catchy. Come on. You gotta try new things. What are you afraid of? You're right. Maybe I do need a breath. This is how she's gonna coax him into singing, quote unquote, her song. Yeah. Kind of evil. What am I afraid of? Exactly. Okay. You do need to look at this jacket. He looks ridiculous. So cool. You're gonna look great. You can he, he's gonna look like a child. That's what he's gonna look like. We gotta sing together. Remember? I told you I was writing a new song. It's right here. It's not exactly country, but remember, change is the spice of life. Okay, so it's not a country well, song, so that's. If you wrote it, I'd love to sing it. You are so sweet. <laughs> But, as I was saying, this monster is doing a shockingly good job of emulating a human. Yeah, actually, this is, it's its very rare you get to see, like, any, what is happening? Breakaway tables? Okay, anyway. Hi, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie, Ben. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, when you'd have the whole, you know, monster seductress thing, usually it's, uh, something over the top where it really only works because there's a spell involved. Yeah. But this one's actually, um, actually pretty effective. I didn't see it coming. I'll bet you did. That's when you know well, it's half washed. Add down um, yeah, but I think I got spoiled a little bit. Because I think I saw somebody comment on, on Twitter, and even though I didn't I didn't see the exact comment, it was something along the lines of, oh, of course she's the monster. Sorry, my Fitbit is charging. I looked at the charge overnight last night. It didn't charge. I think it's because you shut the laptop. I guess. So now I have no Fitbit, no nail polish. Yeah. And my head is fake. I'm having a great day. A small chance. Well, that's why the walls are guarded, people. Yep. Uh, yeah, I also remember seeing uh, Levi in that outfit during uh, in the original promo for uh, Super Ninja Steel. And I remember thinking then that it looked ridiculous. <laughs> 
it actually took me a few watches before I even realized that it was Levi because I just didn't recognize him in a completely different outfit. Hey, it's Leslie Odom Jr. Yeah, he does these. Not gonna make me switch to Nationwide, but. Also known as Aaron Burr from the original cast of Hamilton. Yep. Or Thomas Collier, the head yeah. of Vigilance yeah, and in Person of Interest. I believe he was also apparently on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but I don't know that show well enough to know what, he, what his role was. Like, regularly? I'm not sure. I, just, I mean, I could see him doing a spot on it. They probably, probably it was on the cruise ship singing something. But no, no, the Sweet Life, not the Sweet Deck. Sweet Life on Deck? Yeah. It's called Sweet Life on Deck. Well, there, there were two shows. Yes, Sweet Life and Sweet Life on Deck. Okay. So this was just Sweet Life. I think it was like a bellhop or something, I'm not sure. Can you hold on to your cash until you get paid? Or will you go broke? Payday from Hasbro Gaming. Um, and hold on to the most cash. But watch out for those bills. Do you have what it takes to cash in on payday? The man can say Hasbro Gaming. Yeah. Oh, here we go, and we're back. Ninja Steel. Awesome! This is a freaking Grammy. Oh, it's from Hamilton. Oh, they're all Grammy. Training. They're training. Yep. Oh yeah, what, now I remember what I, was try, what I was trying to say before during the opening sequence. I find it hilarious that the opening narration still refers to the greatest ninja sacrificing himself. Uh-huh. Even though uh, we, we already know that he survived. You look ridiculous. I'm sorry. Everybody's just like, what are you what wearing? Are you wearing? Okay, so it's not this Wikipedia, so it probably did, wasn't on it. Right? Let's go to... That's great. Um, I have to ask, what are you wearing? Are you wearing? What are you wearing? Oh. oh. Yeah. Just help me pick out a totally new look. Nice, huh? No. Is that really you? Excuse me? Yeah, and this music? It's not exactly your style either. So apparently you can... Have you read these lyrics? Tematisrolid. And it goes on. It's all just gibberish. The music? The clothes? I don't know, man. Is this for you? Or is it for Jess? Sure. Jess likes me this way. But I like it too. You know what? Come on, guys. I see the uh, change. I see the Ace up. Yeah. Don't that? change for no. people. It it yeah. also fits in directly Sorry, with uh, what uh Victor okay. tried to play. Yep. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying something new, but But don't let somebody else Those lyrics, I can yeah. swear I've read They're them. magic. Oh he They're magic. Oh he's familiar with with the with, with the spell apparently, which is Or at the very least he's familiar with the language. Yeah. Which is magic language. Oh, it's probably backwards. Oh, okay, this is weird. This is this is really weird. Nobody likes it. I don't think people will like it. Just finish the song. This is weird. Just feel my power. This is very strange. Um, no, babe. You can, you can. What? Why didn't you practice this in private first? Thanks, Robot. Tomatis rollout. Tomatis rollout. Tomatis rollout. Find anything personal? Ah, I knew I saw it in here. It's what they call a, a symmetric spell. Oh no. Symmetric spell. If Levi finishes singing a song, he'll turn evil. Suffering circuits. That means Jess must be working for Odious. We have to stop Levi now. Yep. Okay, well, unless IMDb is really falling down on the job, no, Jake, he was never in any kind of sweet life. Sweet life. Okay. Okay. This is very, very silly. Well, now she's getting that over the top. Ninpo Kinji? That actually sounds like Japanese. Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Yes! It works! Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, pretty lady. Oh, I'm the rudeness, tootin' 
the sweetest Stop. smell in cow poke in all of summer cove. Why does he I'm still have a parasol of the cowboy Go smell? Away. I reckon you need a whiff of my cowboy cologne. <laughs> Am I your type now? Be honest. Am I your type? There we go. Good job. That loser Levi is evil now, and soon all the rangers will fall. You still look like a cocktail. Well, yep. Um, with an eyeball. Power stars and we'll take them. We're too late. Yes, you are, Rangers. So, yeah. Iris is a gun black. Yep. Listen, you're a magician, right? Surely you can reverse the spell. Yeah. It's, it's not that simple. Look, it's a symmetric spell. So, to reverse the spell, I have to say it all backwards. But I don't have all the words. Well, the, the, the music. Sheet music. music. Yeah. Sheet music? Um. That's not great. That's, that's You can put that back together. And surrender. Those are big yeah, enough chunks. Go! Collect them all. You're going down, Rangers! It's morphin' time! Parastars! Lock in! So I have they gonna are they gonna get the pieces all back together? Or what are they gonna do? Well first they're gonna fight. And then they're gonna they're gonna fight. And then the other two are gonna retreat while yeah. they take together all the music and Preston leaves it backwards in a plot that is pretty much directly cribbed off of Mystic Force. You guys hold them off. I'll find the pieces of those lyrics. You got it. When was the can. importance of saying something backwards? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember which episode that was. Um, Blackheart? Darkheart? Fireheart? No. Let's go. And next week, crimes and danger. Follow us after and don't read this message out loud. I don't know. Chip wound up saying it backwards. The hunters search for answers. Gets more dangerous. I'm trying to remember now. My memory is not what it used to be. Someone's there. You guys okay? You won't want to miss a moment. Dark Wish. There's a Dark Wish. Continue all next week at seven. Only on Nick. Backwards language in Dark, Universal dark Wish. I swear it was Dark Wish. Two other vacations. No. Oh, wait. That was, the, the, the magic in that was they uh, they cast, they used Genji for wishes. So there was no spell casting in that. And they did go through that one portal, but that was thanks to Fireheart. But one thing I still find kind of odd. Legendary Catastrophe. Oh, that's right. Um, which was the one Mystic Force episode we've actually reviewed. Okay, there it is. That's probably why it's in my head. Yeah. Um, but anywho, so as much as I love it that uh, Mick is still in the opening credits in his ranger outfit, it does raise a question, why isn't Mick still a ranger? Like everything else was, was restored but not the bonus red ranger starts. <laughs> Maybe they were actually splitting the Red Ranger power and to continue doing them would weaken Brody? Maybe. Your perfect mix of sweet and sour, juicy drop gummies. You can find our larger bag in the candy aisle. New Kellogg's Chocolate Frosted Flakes. But I mean, it was originally... What is the appeal of that? And I know there's an appeal because I remember it being very appealing like chocolate when I was a kid. No, not the Frosted Flakes. The candy where you have to put it together yourself. Oh. I, I just remember that that sort of stuff I was very much into as a kid. Do we have some sort of a, a human instinct to want to prepare our own food? Maybe a little. Like, because, you know, where you dip the pop in the sprinkles, or you yeah. sprinkle the stuff on the pop, or you... There's even candy where it comes in like a powder form with a mold, where you have to yeah. put the liquid in it and make the gummy and let it set. 
And those are really, when I was a kid, those were a really big freaking deal. One thing I'm finding kind of, that I find kind of interesting with Ninja Steel is um, they seem to be working off common uh, a common magic system between Preston and the bad guys, which is interesting. It's an internally consistent magic system. Yeah. And I'm all for it. Which, which we don't usually... Like, usually it's... Okay, Mystic Force. Well, what, well basically, the, my, my point is more so that usually uh, the magic spell is just something that the monsters can do. But good, now good, they good, seem good. To be, He's collecting all the pieces. Uh... Now they, they do seem to be driven off, off a consistent magic system, and it's the same magic system that Preston is using, which yeah, is Yeah, and the bad guys and the good guys are using the same magic system in Mystic Force. Oh, fair enough. Um, that being said, it would look, looking over that, because I had conflated Dark Wish with um, this, that at least it doesn't have the evil uh, port part of it. They really crib the importance of saying uh, that you have to say the spell backwards in order to free yeah. one of your fellow rangers. Interesting that, um... I don't need a brother. I'll destroy you. Yeah. No, you won't. Huh? After going through all the trouble of turning him evil, um... The... Be, being a pretty... Gradual, uh... Um... Well, they don't tape them back together, they just... They just use them. They're all together. I'll take all five stars. Ooh. I just need to read it backwards and break the spell. But he is fast. Yeah, that was really. That was that easy. That was. They didn't have to do the whole song back there. It's only the gibberish part. I thought. Well, they made they made it a point that it had to be the entire song. Yes, but I'm sure they constructed the English around that song. It didn't seem to. It seemed to be sort of a lead in thing. Okay, well, they don't have to sing the lead-in that they wrote in front of it. Weird. Because the lead-in was clearly there just to make Preston, uh, not Preston, Levi think he was singing an actual song before it devolved into the gibberish that they... Uh, I guess. And we certainly don't feel a magical cocktail umbrella. are all along the sides and the back, so I didn't see them. So that's where the, the, um, so that's where the, uh, monster's theme fits in with it wrote something. See, look, crown pens.
Wait. It's time to so, this. so he still has the, the chainsaw sword? I thought that they got changed out for the blaster thing last time. Super steel stuff is weird. Hey, we haven't seen this in uh like 15 episodes. What is it? It's the UFO Zord, the Astro Zord. Yeah, it's been so long I forgot about it. That was the thing that broke uh, Levi out from uh, Odius' ship for some reason. And he used it for all of like five seconds just now. And that's gone. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, there's the there's the new lion blaster thing. You've seen it before! Oh, he hasn't used it before. He was using the Light Fire Force Sword before. That's why I said you've seen it before. Yeah, oh, I don't know how well he's seen it. He wasn't in that cockpit at the time. Oh, you're right. That's why I said he was using the Light Fortress Sword. I thought you said Light Fortress Sword. Sword. I don't believe there is a Light Fortress Sword. Too soon. Same with that new look of yours. Ugh. Hey. That was a big. Oh, she misses. <laughs> you know, Levi, you are allowed to wear a different shirt. Looking good, cupcake. Yeah. Should wear. You, you can wear a blue one or a pink one or a green one or just something with like I don't know. Yeah. 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 Strange who I am, just to please someone else. Mm. Especially when they're a monster. <laughs> we like you just the way you are. You guys are the best. These are when they're in high school students, but they certainly have a taste of... Oh, no, he's, he's got the super smell there from where he is. Really? Everybody's just taken to... And now we get the same trailer again. Even the Rangers can stop me. Alright, so we've seen we've seen this this promo many times. But yeah, it looks like we've still got some more villains coming out. I don't know. We're actually getting more. Looks like a new episode next Saturday at twelve. You were bumping your head up into my mood before. So that episode was okay. I thought you learned a new trick. I think I think one of the best aspects of this was the fact that the monster actually um, was passed human. He did a very good job passing human, which is very rare for a monster. Yeah, and it and it aids in the suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Um, because usually when the rangers are falling in love with a blatantly uh, monster in disguise character, you're just like, really? Really? Like, the, the, a, f a few bits that were a bit off was like, you're not going to practice a brand new song in, in public. That's just not a thing that you're going to do. Um, but, uh, um, but, it, you know, having him try a different look actually because the... Because the girl wanted him to. Well, I was going to say, because the song was not a country song, made some sense. Um, I would have expected it to be... I, w I was originally expecting it to be a country song, because it was pretty much tailor-made for Levi there. Um, but apparently it is not tailor-made for Levi, because it's a pre-established spell that uh, Preston had in a spell book. But that was not the spell book from Africa Danger, was it? Don't think so. Where did he get that spell book? I don't know. I don't know if maybe I might have missed the detail there. I mean, it might be the one from Africa Danger, but if it is, it has considerably more pages than it used to. I, I feel like I missed a detail there. Um, I don't know. Maybe he called the magic supply. Yeah, I don't know. 
Um, it is a consistent universal magic system. System. So for maybe there's reason. a. You know, you get a big old chunk in you. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a bunch of tangles. I keep trying to brush him out. I know, but, but he leaves after about two minutes of brushing. Um, you don't want to fight him. Yeah, we we we're we're pretty. They're they're definitely committing to that consistent magic system, um, which is good. Internal consistency is good. I like internal consistency. That's fair. Um, it's it's still a little odd just because there's been so many varied magic systems within the PRU. The coincidence of these two forces using the same magic system just feels a little odd. Um, that's that's the main thing. Like with with Mystic Force, it was at least all Earth based. Yes. Uh, uh, more specifically, it was all uh, not Sumerian Forest. Golly. No. Um, uh, well, the Sumerian Forest was a location. I know, but else. the forest that they were actually in. Oh, oh, um, Briarwood. It was all Briarwood magic. Yeah. Um, because Udana was from Briarwind, and so was the bad guys. But, uh, apparently, the Lion Galaxy magic is the same as the magic that Abracadanger used, and is also, I guess, the same magic system that Preston and Odious are using as well. Um, which is interesting. I, I doubt that will be explored any more in depth, but it is interesting that it's all uh, the same magic system. Yeah. Um, which this... apparently has books on Earth where you is can look Is this our first space-based neo -Saban? No. I mean, um, honestly, apart from uh, oh, no, wait. the Nilox, all the aliens, all the uh, monsters have been from space. Right. Were... Keeper was from space. But, and we've had a direct crossover with that universe. Well, with the, oh, well, yeah, through Sledge. Through Sledge. But, but that shows that it's an alternate dimension. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, and then, you know, we've had Megaforce, which was all aliens. Did any of them use magic? Um, yeah, there was like... Because uh, I'm wondering if the magic system might be consistent across neo Sudan. Maybe, but they're also trying to... But Megaforce also links the rest of neo Sudan to the core universe by virtue of the crossovers. Um, not that that made any sense with it. Not, not that the, the crossovers in Megaforce made any sense in terms of continuity. Um, and I ex I'm expecting Ninja Steel to have some sort of crossover for, an, for the anniversary episode, but who knows if that will be same universe or cross universes. Um, now that we're It'll just be Tommy. Uh, I, I don't Coming think. to teach at the high school. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be Tommy. I think it's going to be something else. Uh, I don't know what, but I don't think it's going to be Tommy because I don't believe... I, I frankly do not believe that Jason David Frank would be able to keep this under wraps that well. But then again, then again, he did manage to... Um, him and Amy Jo Johnson did manage to keep their cameo for, uh, for, the, for the Power Rangers movie under wraps pretty well, so who knows. Um, you don't understand. <laughs> I'm I'm in it. I'm, I'm in it. Um. But uh, yeah, we we had we had pretty solid uh, commitment to the moral: don't change yourself for other people, or else you'll get turned evil. So this is two in a row that actually did their Aesop really well. Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually, like, starting to... They found to, their groove with the Aesops. They're finally get, get, getting into the, the swing of things with the Aesops. This is good. Um, like, and I, because I, they're pitching to a younger audience, yeah. the Aesops are very important. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've, I, I've never been against uh, the Aesop of the Week. No, because that is I, classic. I, uh, I, I just want to make sure that they're, that they're done well. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's yeah. the point. What is it? I mean, that's... No one had more blatant Aesops than Mighty Morphin. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that's um, just classic. So, yay for Aesops, but I'm just pleased that it seems like they are... They're, they're no longer at odds with themselves. Yeah, the, the, Aesop, oh, the Aesops are no longer... Oh, what's that trope? Uh, broken Aesop? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not broken Aesops anymore. They are actual Aesops. 
Like, I don't, um... And I love how we're using the, the, Aesop as a noun when it's actually an adjective. Yeah. Aesop's fairy tales. Well, it's, it's, it's a person. Yeah, I know. Um, but it is... But with a, per but a possessive is an adjective. Yeah, yeah, Aesop's, Aesop's fables. Yeah. Um, but at this point, you know, it's, it's become synonymous with, you know, having a, a story with, uh, being the lesson, uh, that a story is meant to convey. Yeah. Um... Now, I will admit, you know, variety is the spice of life is also a true thing. Um, there is nothing wrong with trying new things, so th there is a little bit of... That, that, was, it wasn't, that was a little bit of I a mean, mixed thing. I mean, she, she was using she, a saying to Yeah, she was, pu she was pushing it. Because um, it wasn't just trying new things, it was... Changing... changing abandoning everything that he was. Yeah. She was like... You know, changing your hat. Yeah. Okay, you're trying new things. Changing your hat, your shirt, your pants, your shoes, and your music style all at once. Yeah, it's a little much. Don't do that. Um. Um. Especially not because some girl tells you to, or some boy. And that, and that, honestly, that that is a co a common thing with uh, with relationships. Oh that, my goodness. And yeah. It's, one, once. Once. It's never a good sign. Yeah. They. They. When they want to. Tries when they want. Basically, they get a hold. Of, yeah, they wanted. Does that mean that this is done charging, or was that buzzing? Um, I think it might have been one of my alarms. Oh, okay. Um. Um. No, because what I was saying is that, like, um. <laughs> it's never a good sign. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um. Because a relationship that's built on somebody pretending to be someone who they're not... Yeah, exactly. ...is going to implode. Yeah. Um, Even if you think you can just change and be a different person... Yeah. ...you're not really changing. You are putting on a mask, and a relationship that is predicated on a mask... Yeah. ...will collapse. I will admit that the, that the makeover, that the want to give your boyfriend a makeover thing does seem to be a thing that exists. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad it's thing. It's a bad thing. It does not feel like a good thing. It it's feels like thing. an odd thing. Um, but it is an instinct, especially with, like, you know, middle schoolers and high schoolers yeah. trying to date, where, I mean, especially with middle schoolers, because high schoolers are trying to date seriously. Yeah. But middle schoolers, half the time when a girl declares, You're my boyfriend! Yeah, yeah. It, it means she gets to tell you what to wear and make you carry her books. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which is kind of Because middle annoying. schoolers do not understand. No. Middle schoolers seem to have this idea that is very much based on uh, the extreme sort of stereotypes you see in a sitcom. Yeah. Where the girl tells the guy what to do all the time and he just goes, Yes, dear... The whole, the whole new boyfriend being a Ken doll thing is is kind of amusing. Um, it I, is amusing for middle schoolers. Yeah. But they're not middle schoolers. Yeah. A high schooler tried it, and it's no good. Yeah. And it's only amusing from the outside for middle schoolers because for the inside is really really awkward for the boy. And yeah. you gotta think about it. This is not teaching good life lessons. Yeah. Because, you know, some girls don't grow out of it. I know, like, um, I know my, my uh, high school girlfriend really wanted to take me to H&M back in high school. H&M has fine clothes. Oh, I'm sure they but, do. But, but it's just like... I, you, you never told me that your high school girlfriend was trying to give you a makeover. And I pretty much was always like, yeah, no. No. Oh, oh no, now, now keep in mind, that no. is not to say that she did not, it took, like, I, I, you know, if we were at the mall, okay, she wants to look at the clothes, fine. Some people, you know, I want to look at the toys, you want to look at whichever stores you want to go to at the mall. Um, and that's not to say she didn't, she didn't occasionally have good taste. For instance, um... My tan corduroy jacket that I wear all the time. That was something that she picked out that I happen to really like. Yeah. Well, um, or those those uh those pants those uh. You mean the 
the nice pants. Those so. pants that you were. She picked those out too. Well, I can see the girl picked those pants out for you because they do wonderful things to your behind. <laughs> but my point um, is, is that dragging someone to the store exclusively. And and the also point. they are clearly well made because I've had them for like the last fifteen years. Going, you need a makeover is way different than going. I think you'd like this jacket. Um. <laughs> yeah, both that that that. That jacket and those pants have held up really well. The jacket's starting I to. Seen the jacket in a while? Is it under there? Yeah, it's under. You were well, at well, I was wearing. Well, yeah, it's under. It's on the hook underneath. It's my okay, others. underneath your other jackets. Uh, yeah, because it's. Because it's, it's, you're it's, pointing at the coat rack, and I don't see it. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's in there. It's more of a summer jacket because it's. It really it's, is. It's a light corduroy, um, uh, as opposed to my wool winter jacket. No, see, but you do need help sometimes. Yeah. Usually, when well, we're just looking at you, going, sweetheart, sweetheart. Your shoes have fallen apart. Okay, that's They're fair. held together with gaff tape. That's fair. You need to get new shoes. That's fair. I do not go shopping. <laughs> I go but shopping I don't, so I don't rarely. get involved in his clothes until he looks like a hobo. <laughs> it's like, sweetheart, sweetheart. It's falling apart. You need to replace it. Yeah, I waited way too long on those shoes. <laughs> And then the next pair of shoes I got were just, they, they fell apart even faster. Babe, all your khakis have holes. You need a pair without holes. <laughs> I've, got, I've got plenty of decent khakis. No, right now you do. It. But I'm just saying, those are the kind of situations where I step in. Honestly, it's, it, and even then, it's, mo it's mostly just... He never has a problem with shirts. Yeah. I think it's because your mom gives you shirts for Christmas every year. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> I usually get like a, like a shirt and a pair of pants for Christmas each year. And so, like, I, they they just accumulate. So I'm I'm pretty I'm always pretty good at clothes. I pretty much never need to go shopping it's for true. clothes. It's true, except for you know when you wear holes in your shoes. Yeah, shoes are the one thing where I need to actually go out and get. Some I don't know how you go through shoes so fast. I think they were just not very. The, the, good shoes. the last shoes were clearly not very good because you went through them faster than any other. It was shoes. very confusing. Um. Those shoes started to fall apart in like six months. Those were were those Timberlands. No, no, that's why I got the Timberlands, because those okay. are actually quality. Because, yeah, I've heard that they've gone downhill, too, though. Yeah. Um, so that might be why those... Yeah. But then, uh, no, my new shoes are doing fine. You know what we need to get you? What? Freaking army boots. They never go... Uh, they never fall apart. Mm -hmm. The Timberlands are doing fine. I don't need, like... Oh, army style. Army... Uh, that's, Timberland that's... style army boots. Yeah, You know, with the, with the... I'm not talking about making you look like you're wearing army boots. It's just okay. that the army happens to have boots that look very similar to that that okay. are far more durable. Um, but anyway. Just like my shoes are actually nurse shoes. Yeah. I feel like uh, we could have explored a little bit more with Evil Levi. Um, that was a little bit of a, of a quick thing. Yeah. He was not evil for very long. No. They didn't do much with it. Uh, which is one of the things that... Uh, a little bit sad about, and this is mostly, um, this is this is something that's been slowly happening more and more with the Neo Saban era. Mm. Uh, no continuing storylines really. No, we've, it's very episodic. Very we've episodic. we've been getting increasingly episodic over the years. Uh, but once again, they are skewing towards a younger audience. Yeah, which I think is intentional. Better. I think they're going for that. Um, episodic is going to be easier for small children to digest. Um, which, and, and, you know, they are working on improving their episodic, uh, stories, which is good. Like, one, uh, you know, I, I've been pointing this out throughout Ninja Steel. Um, it, it still very much feels like, um, the newer writers are kind of getting their own season and learning how to, to do the show on their own. Um... Well, you know, even though even though it's always still credited with with um, with Chip Beck and Alwyn, uh, it feels like it's been like it's shifting over into Beck and Alwyn. Now I can't say this for certain, um, but it feel it feels like this is well, almost a trial season, and they're they're learning and they're improving as they go. If that's the case, then they're really starting to find their footing in Super Ninja Steel. Which which is it makes sense, you know, after twenty episodes. Because you, you should find your footing. Th this uh, this is like the backwards of Megaforce. Um, Megaforce, Super Megaforce was like, what even is this? It's worse. It, Super Ninja Steel thus far has been better than. Well, Ninja here Steel. here's the thing. 
I don't know if I would actually say that Super Mega Force was worse than Mega Force. It was just different messed up. Because Mega Force uh, was extremely, like, it, it was very reliant on its, on its Sentai footage without its stories actually being on there. There was only, like, two minutes of original footage per, per episode. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, whereas, at least Super Mega Force, they had more original footage, and um, they played with their characters a bit more. They just had no understanding of continuity, so their stories made no sense. That was the main issue with Super Mega Force. Um, with just how they didn't understand their own But, I mean, this is only the third episode this season, right? Yeah. And we've had two of them that were solid. Yeah, the... They were not, like, knock it out of the ballpark... Fantastic, because that doesn't happen every episode. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're I getting into. Expect it to happen every episode, but what we have is two, so far I mean, the the two I, very solid episodes. I'd say that the first season of, of Ninja Steel, um, although there's there's a lot of rough stuff, it, it, they they managed to achieve competence with their seasonal arc. Uh, there wasn't a, a definitely as there well. wasn't there wasn't a, there wasn't a depth. Uh, I mean, there wasn't that much depth of story, but everything. That... But but they set up they set up everything that they wanted to do for that season. They they and hit all the points that they wanted to hit. Um, they they Even arced Victor it out. Victor and so Monty that, were arced. Yeah, Victor and Mon Monty were arced. You know, the first eight episodes was structured to get to know the team and to introduce the newest member. Um, you know, it's a, it's a thin structure, but but the building blocks are there. Mm -hmm. uh, and now it feels like they're getting a little bit better understanding of how to handle their morals of the day. They seemed a little bit confused and unfocused during last season, and now they're getting a little bit better on that. So maybe that's what they're working on right now. Uh, hopefully we will get to see a little bit more arcing story, because I've always liked to see you the show. Yeah. I, I, I've always liked to see how the show builds on itself. That was one of the things that I always... Uh, well, I mean, I, always enjoyed I think sometimes you can strike a balance yeah. where you have an arc, but you also have an episodic feel. So it's right. almost like um, bonus material for people who are actually watching every exactly. single episode. That's, that, and that's one of the things I really want to see the show do. I really want to have it... Um, I mean, for example, to go to something completely different, yeah. Law & Order. Okay. Heavily episodic, right? Right. But if you're actually paying attention and watching every single episode, you will find this out things about character the, detect development. the character development of like the detective's home life or whatever. Someone is going through a divorce through these entire eight episodes here. Right. This one's found a new boyfriend. This is, you know, someone has cancer. Well, what, what I want to see is I, and, and you know, you need to have the basics of, of the storytelling down first. What I want to see is layered storytelling. I want to see... Each episode has its own clear story, mm -hmm. but there's an undercurrent of something new is happening that is developing a larger story. Pieces are coming together, and everything is, is moving towards a culmination, and that there are several threads going along at the same time. Um, also Doctor Who. Hmm. Heavily episodic. Right, yeah, you have the little, the little like... Uh, but there would be, like... Uh, like the, the bad wolf... Right. Threads, just, where you, you look for clues, and they all piece together into something larger. Right, but if you just popped in for one episode, you would gloss right over them and right. enjoy the episode as itself. And also, it, it gives you rewatch value if there's more than just what that episode is providing. And that's really what, what they need. It, when you only have 20 episodes a season and you are aiming for a more episodic style of storytelling, you really need to layer in that rewatch value. Um, Especially since they're going to syndicate the heck out of it. Well, I don't know about syndicate. No, not syndicate. Uh, they're, they're rerun. Gonna, they're yeah. going to rerun the heck out of it. Yeah, like when you only have, for instance, um, for, for most of the run, like you only have the first eight episodes... Because you go eight episodes for like three months, and then you have five and a half months of rerun reruns. So you gotta make those eight you gotta episodes make those something eight episodes that count. have a value in rewatch because yeah. you're gonna be stuck watching them for a while. 
you you want there to be some something happening in those eight episodes for where now, when you watch you, it a second time you'll be like oh that's there. Once again, not something that they need to be quite as concerned with with small children who will watch Babe forty two times in a row. True. <laughs> um, but still, you. Why is it always Babe in that example? I don't know. But you do still really need to try and lock into you. When you have that small an episode count being rerun that many times, you really need to lock in on each one of those really knocking it out of the park. Um, and unfortunately, we haven't really gotten too many knock it out of the park episodes. No, we haven't. Uh, and as far as as far as Ninja Steel Super Ninja Steel goes, I can't really think of any. But here's the thing: I would rather have a season of. Uh, consistent, solid episodes yeah. than one where they've got to knock it out of the park one week and a what were you thinking the next week? Oh, fair enough. But I, I, honestly, even with that, I, I do want to, like, just the I, just seeing that knock it, out, uh, knock it out of the park episode raises your expectations and makes you want to see, okay, will the next episode be, be like that or is it going to be... And then you get your hopes dashed on a rock when the next episode is a what were you thinking? Episode. But then maybe the next episode might be a knock it out of the park. You, you, yeah. It creates some variety. It's a roller coaster and I don't like it. Ah. I, I, I will take consistent good storytelling over inconsistent that varies between I don't even know what the heck this is and gold. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to, to find. Like, I, I want to see, see some. I want to see a really good episode. Um, I, know. And I feel like we haven't gotten there yet. Um, like we we've had some good moments. Um, like you know the episode where Levi was revealed as Brody's brother. Oh my was, goodness! Was, we had, all cried. Had some good moments. The second episode where uh, we first realized that stuff could thread together and then it stopped threading together after that was decent, but. Um, I want to. I want to see. I want to see some. I want to see see a real knock it out of the park episode. Yeah, I know. Um, and I don't know if this season has it in it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this at least was solid, uh, and arguably more solid than last week. Um, because there were fewer weird character choices. Yeah. Um. And there was a little bit more complexity of storyline. And those are nice things to see. So I want to keep seeing that build. So let's keep that rolling. So I think that's enough because you got to head off to work. I do. You so, talk about this like they're still making it. It's in the can. Well, I know I know that this season may be in the can. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully we'll see this season continue to improve. And then next season can continue to improve off that. Um... Because let's say we, even though we don't, we haven't gotten in our, our uh, announcement yet. There is probably going to be another season. Power Rangers just keeps on rolling. I mean, Saban didn't buy it back to let it die. Yeah. Um, even though you know, he, we have been running for eight seasons now. Under this is the eighth season under Saban, so that's not exactly letting it die. But um, but no, I'm there, pretty sure that guy wants it to just continue forever. Yeah, exactly. Now. He wants it to be immortal. Yeah, it, it's it's like Sentai. It is chugging along. It keeps going. So let's let's hope for more good things. So until next time, farewell, farewell Ranger, Ranger fans, fans, and let the power protect you. Once I give you this new makeover, you're totally going to be immortal. <laughs>